Hello, I'm going to be going through my makeup bag and all of the bits that are inside of it for the summertime. I kind of rotate my makeup around, like I use, I have my collection, which I've whittled down a lot, might I add. I've given a lot of stuff away, I've gotten rid of a lot of stuff. So it's a lot more refined, a lot more manageable, and I kind of rotate my makeup throughout the year of the different products I'm using, and obviously different products I'm trying out. So these are the products and the tools I've been using in the summer months. And if you live in England or the south of England, Bloody hell, it has been hot. When I say hot, I mean it depends on where you're watching this from. I think it reached like 30 degrees, 31 degrees Celsius. For some people who live in like 50 degree heat, that's nothing, but in those kind of temperatures, I don't want to wear any makeup at all. But sometimes you want to, you know, even if it is scalding hot. So these are the products I've been using and that have been coping okay in the heat. This makeup bag has got toothpaste on it. <laughs> this is from H&M. I got this ages ago. It's like a pleather. It's got a really good quality zip and I think it's like the perfect size. It's big enough but not too big. Really good for travels. I also just worked at a music festival and I took this bag with me and just rummaging through this. I can, there's bits of grass and dirt, you know, all that hygienic stuff you want in your makeup bag. So first of all, I've got an eye cream and the one I'm using at the moment is the Coffee Bean Caffeine Eye Cream from 100% Pure. I really, really like this. I think it's really good for travel. I really like that it's got a nozzle on it, so you can literally squeeze out. Instead of putting your finger in a tub, you can squeeze it out. It's really good for sensitive skin. I highly recommend this. Also from 100% Pure, I've been using this as a primer. This is their All Over Glow, and it's like a uh, kind of... I mean, it comes out really bronzy, orangey, but it blends out to be this kind of really luminous just like illuminating base. It is slightly bronzy, like it still leaves your skin a little bit bronzed. So I'd really only use this in the summertime when I've got a little bit of a tan. I don't tan very much. But when I do, ever so slightly, this is really nice. What else did we get in here? Mmm. Oh yeah, this is nice. This is a little duo. There are two pots of... Originally in here there were samples of the Arbon foundation but they weren't quite the right colours for me so I mixed in some other foundations. I mixed a little bit of this Super Fruits foundation from 100% Pure and a little bit of these lightening drops from the body shop. These little pops are so convenient for travel and you know going to festivals and things when you don't want to bring a whole thing of foundation. So yeah this pot is kind of gross it's got cling film coming off of it to stop it leaking in my bag but it's what I've been using and it's what's in my makeup bag and that's what I'm here to show you so it is what it is. The concealers that I carry around with me, I'm still trying to use up this. This is the Fruit Pigmented Concealer from 100% Pure. And I've talked about this before. It's a great colour, but it's a really weirdly dry formula. You wouldn't think that a creamy concealer like this could be dry, but it is. It is really, really dry. To make this a little bit more workable, I did mix in a little bit of that eye cream that I showed you. Just to make it a little bit more creamier and more blendable, but it's still, it's just... I've only got this in here really to use it up, I don't enjoy using this at all. The other concealer I've got here is by Essence, and I've showed this before. This is a, an amazing concealer. Objectively speaking, this is the best concealer I've ever used. I think people with dry skin, and like dry, normal skin, I really, 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 really recommend you try this out. It's so cheap. You can get Essence in Wilkinson. They're cruelty free. I've been told this is vegan as well. Really blendable, a really, really good colour if you're fair. Just an all round great concealer. So that's those two. I've got my beauty blender in here. And then I've also got a loose powder in here. I don't really use powder all the time. I used to have an oily t-zone and would always, always have to use powder and set my makeup up. My skin is different now. It's The oils are just very different. Like it I don't get as oily at all, but obviously in summertime, in the 30 degree blazing heat, you sweat. And I'm quite a sweaty person, if truth be told. So I've been using a powder, and this is not what it says on the tin, like this is just an empty package that I had, but this is actually arrowroot powder, which I'd heard great things about. So it's all natural, it's like plant-based. I think it's a root vegetable, and they grind it down, make some kind of flour out of it, or powder out of it, and it's... It's like it. it, feels like a translucent powder. I think it's meant to be used for cooking, but I've been using this as a setting powder and I quite like it. It's not like the most finely milled of powders and I wouldn't recommend it for people with dry skin. But I like it, it's been doing the job for me, so yeah, that's what's in there. I've got my Filmstar Bronze and Glow by Charlotte Tilbury. Looks like that. I've got the RMS Living Luminizer, which is like a kind of creamy highlight sort of thing, very very natural. Also from RMS I've got their cream eyeshadow, this is the shade Solar and I use this as a base for my eyeshadow every day, it's a really nice golden bronzy shade. Nice on its own or nice with eyeshadow and the eyeshadow palette I've been using is the chocolate bar palette from Too Faced. I was quite underwhelmed with this when I first got it but it has grown on me, I like it. It's got a lot of warm browns, it's got mattes, it's got shimmers, it's got pretty much 
everything you need. I've been using these two eyeliners from 100% Pure. This is a brown pencil and this is the liquid one. The liquid one I'm slowly but surely finding my feet with. It's not out of this world, like I'm not saying run out and get it now, like you need this. It's a little bit difficult to work with. The actual nib is not very thin, like it's quite a thick nib. It's not super, super saturated in colour, so not amazing. I'm kind of using it to use it up, if you know what I mean. Speaking of, if anyone has any recommendations for cruelty-free felt tip liquid liner, please, please let me know, because I've tried quite a few and I haven't managed to find one that I really, really like. So yeah, if you've got any recommendations, let me know. I carry three mascaras, which seems very excessive, but they all have a purpose. This one is from The Body Shop, and it's not black it's brown and sometimes I use this on my eyebrows like as a brown mascara because it's got like a spoolie shaped plastic brush and obviously it's brown and I also really like using this on the bottom lashes because it's a little bit more subtle and the brush itself is like kind of like a comb so it's really good for separating so that's that one the other two are both black the better than sex mascara I love I've said it before and I'll say it again I love this mascara but I find that I think I've got it all off in the evening I'll go to bed wake up in the morning and have makeup on my pillowcase I don't know what it does but but it, it clings to the lashes. I just sometimes I just can't be bothered with this, but it is amazing. I do love it. It's just the getting off process I'm not a huge fan of. Whereas this one by 100% Pure is a little bit more natural, natural ingredients and natural looking and easier to get off. So it depends what I'm feeling, but yeah, I like to have options, you know? For eyebrows at the moment, I've been using up this little Body Shop eyebrow pencil and also this Makeup Revolution double ended eyebrow. Thing. I don't know what it's called because the name's rubbed off but it's basically one end is a pen one end is a pencil this is okay I mean I didn't use the pen because I thought it was a bit too harsh and the pencil is very very thick like it's a very wide nib and it's round all the way like it's not slanted it's not a fine point it's it's not I wouldn't recommend this for people who want to actually draw on fine hair like it's okay for me because I just literally colour in my brows and then brush it through with a spoolie like I, I'm kind of okay with my bro eyebrow shape I don't really add a lot of shape to them apart from building up the arch a little bit so yeah it does the job for me but I'm not sure if it would for other people so I wouldn't highly recommend this I've got a few tools so a couple of nail files an eyelash curler some tweezers and a pencil sharpener. This is from The Body Shop and it's done me so well. It's lasted really well. I love that it's got a case attached to it so you don't get shavings all over your makeup bag. It's never split open. It's just, it's a really, really handy little gadget. I'm not really sure how I feel about The Body Shop at the moment. I haven't really addressed this because I'm kind of still umming and ahhing about it. Obviously I've shopped at The Body Shop for years and years and years and I have supported them and I have a whole video about The Body Shop and all the products I love and regularly purchase from them. And when I first started like converting to cruelty free they were such a great port of call because they have so many great products really accessible kind of inexpensive some things are really expensive but some things when you get them on sale are really really cheap but after all that time and kind of shopping around and learning more about animal testing policies and things like that i'm not sure how comfortable i am supporting them when they're owned by l'oreal so i don't know what do you what do you think if you do shop cruelty free do you do you support the body shop do you not care that it's owned by a parent company like where where do you like draw the line because I'm very I'm genuinely interested but at the moment I'm not giving them too much airtime <laughs> to my 500 subscribers <laughs> moving on I've got my makeup brushes in here I keep some eye blending brushes a spoolie powder brush and a smudger brush and this duo fiber one if you want to see all of my makeup brushes then I've got a whole video on it so <laughs> lucky you I've got a few things in here that were just here for festival purposes some glitter glue and a couple of glitters this is the Barry M fine glitter dust in the shade number four and then this is their dazzle dust in the shade 80 i think it's like a green i would literally never wear this on any other occasion but every year when it comes around to festival season i whip it out and it does me so well they're like really really finely milled glitter pure glitter so that's why obviously you need the glitter glue or you can just use some lip balm if you want to go rogue speaking of lip balm i always keep a crazy rumors lip balm on me this doubles up as a finishing spray and a cooling mist when the heat is upon me and all this is is water and essential oils I think I put peppermint tea tree and vanilla in here but the peppermint is really really cooling so when you're really when you're really overwhelmingly hot like maybe you're traveling on a train or a bus or something and it's really stuffy just like a few sprays of this oh man it's really really cheap to make I already had half the stuff and I just had to get a bottle and you can reuse the bottle again and again and again instead of getting something like the quarterly beauty elixir which is basically just water and essential oils and costs about £28. Skip it, not cruelty free either, so skip that, 
make your own. Just be careful if you are going to be using it as a setting spray, obviously don't go overboard on the oils because you don't want it to break down your makeup instead of setting it. So yeah, that's everything in my makeup bag at the moment. It seems like a lot of stuff actually. I don't travel light and I like to have options, you know, you don't want to do the same makeup again and again and again. You want to have a little bit of variety, spice up your life and all that. I hope that wasn't too boring and I hope you have a good day and I'll see you soon. Bye!